I know a lot of people go out and they find the local club with the DJ s spinning, I believe is what they say. Nah, not old freckles. I go to sporting events. Take me out to the speedway. Take me out to the cars. <laughs> I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana, home of uh, the whining ass Indianapolis Colts. Oh, they cheated. They took a cunt hair out of the ball. That's why we lost by 35. Unbelievable. This is what I love about Jim Ursay. That bitching made his stick, and he works right there. Hey, Jimmy! He's probably still up from last night, if you know what I mean. Anyways, we're gonna be going over to uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the Indy 500. Oh, that's what Indianapolis is home of, the Motor Speedway. Look at this old woman smoking cigarettes. Is that a guy? No, it's a woman. I love the Midwest. They haven't seen a Surgeon General's report in their entire life. They don't give a fuck. Fucking smoking cigarettes with some raw red meat in their front shirt pocket. Look at this cop, he's smiling. I like Indianapolis. This guy's got a shovel. Always filling up the potholes. Man, they got money out here, huh? You never see that in LA. Oh, I see what they're doing. The Indy 500's here, so that's, they're filling up the potholes. They're making it look good. All right, so right now we're on our way to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, home of the Indianapolis 500, which is gonna be going down this uh, Memorial Day weekend. What's amazing about this speedway is when you first see, you cannot fucking believe how big it is. Cause you forget that it has to be big enough that people could be driving 200 miles an hour. So we're gonna meet one of the drivers who's gonna take me out on the track. I know who you're thinking. Who's, who's gonna drive you around, Bill? Rick Mears, Gordon Johncock, AJ Foyt. No, none of those old coots. Half of them are probably dead. The one and only Danica Patrick, a lovely lady. Do you realize how legendary this place is? I almost got the chills when I pulled in here. Holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> Bill Burr, here I am, Indianapolis Motor Speedway with the legendary Danica Patrick. Gonna take a lap, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I hate being in the passenger seat. I'm definitely gonna get freaked out. Do you get bored, like, after you do a race? You no. don't drive yourself home, do you? Like, you know, so sure. you're just sitting and stop and go traffic in, like, a Subaru? Have you had, like, one of those Ricky Bobby sort of uh, rivalries with any driver? That even if you came in seventh, as long as they came in eighth, you psyched. Actually, in racing, that uh, tends to be a problem within teammates, usually. You have the most similar equipment as they do, so it's the bigger test of talent on yeah, some Yeah, I saw level. that with Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg. There you go. In Formula One, it's very, yeah, very prevalent. Yeah, it's hilarious. Corner. This is it right here. This is so yeah. iconic. I can't believe I'm here right now. <laughs> You know what I've noticed about you? Steely, like calm. Oh, you're cruising around oh, here. Thank you. And you're just like, well, thank you know, you. you just stay here, you stay along the wall. I mean, you're entering the corner at 230, 235 miles an hour without lifting. 235 miles an hour? That does sound pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? How would you just ride right on somebody's ass like that, just knowing the whole time that all someone has to do is just, just clip you in the back and you're going to go flying into the wall? You just don't think about it, right? Yeah. You're, like, you're so focused, like, I'm going to get around this thoughts bastard. Thoughts become things. Let's not, uh, let's not think about those things. Let's take this time. Is that a saying? Or you just come up with that. That's well, awesome. Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't come up with it, but I'm pretty sure it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a saying, but I'm I like to say it. I'm going to use that with my wife. It's true. Thoughts honey, become honey, things. Honey, thoughts become things. I don't want to go too fast, but I was thinking I'd speed it up a little bit. Yeah, let me get the experience. I went here in 95 and 96. I used to watch this. Every year when I was growing up, you know, Rick Mears and yeah. Al Unser, oh, yeah. uh, Mario Andretti. See, this is cool. Then you come up along the wall. Now, this must feel like you're in, like, still in first gear. Well, I mean, the car rolls around and moves a lot, you know, compared to the other cars. You can so. feel that? Oh, yeah. Around. I thought I was going to be nervous, but you're, like, so, like, calm. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my 27th um, season of racing. 27th. And you're retiring, right? I am, I yeah. I think that's awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad finally somebody's, like, excited about me retiring. Like, it's yeah, my you decision. you left. You're still in your prime. 
Like, I don't know how it works with race car drivers, you know, with athletes, like, you know, when you got to run around and stuff, your body breaks down and then it kind of starts to get sad. You're not as fast. How do you age out of racing? I think that you just don't care enough anymore and there's so much risk on the line that you start thinking about that part of it. Have you ever been driving like 200 miles an hour right on somebody's ass, someone right behind you and you just start thinking about like going to the mall or something and you, is that when you start thinking like, I gotta get out of racing? <laughs> no. Like I wonder if they're gonna make another Anchorman. And then you're like, wait a minute, I'm at, I'm at Indy 500 right now. <laughs> I hope they make another Anchorman. I love Anchorman, it's like an all time favorite of mine. But I have kind of pictured you as like the Veronica Corningstone. Like Veronica all these people Corningstone. will give it like, she was like, yeah, qualified. When, when is your last race gonna be? Uh, May 27th, Sunday, May 27th. Oh, this is it? Yeah, it's in a few days. Oh my God, so this is like a legendary uh, trip around the, around the track with you. How many miles around is this? By two the way? and a half, two, two and, and a half, half miles around, so it's uh, 200 laps, 500 miles. Do you have any idea what lap you're on? After a while, no. you just slam Actually, down the Actually, you get very confused. Sometimes there are par parts in the race and you're like, we're only on lap 35? Or you're like, holy crap, how is it 40 to go? You know, like, there are certain points in the race that go a lot faster than other points. Literally. I can relate to that as a comedian. There's nights you go on stage and you're thinking, I must have done 50 minutes and you've only been up there for like 11. And, but you've somehow burned through most of your act. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm literally feeling my face getting pulled over here. This is awesome. I literally am going twice as fast in an Indy car than this. Double the speed. Oh, that's, how cool is that? Now, how do you, how do you maintain your calm when you're leading at, at a place like this without thinking like, don't blow this? Well, I say to myself, <laughs> um, I mean, you, you just get very singularly focused. You're thinking to yourself like, you know, how does the car feel? How do I stay ahead of the balance? How do I make sure that I don't, you know, the front stays hooked up and I don't let it get, you know, too much understeer too fast and then not be able to turn and then, you know, what are the other cars doing? And, you know, looking in your mirrors, you're listening to your spotter, you're hearing if anybody's off strategy, you know, you're kind of... I understood. Got a lot some going of that. on. Some of that I understood. Well, I think that's going to have to be our checkered flag. That was awesome. <laughs> How fast were we going when you really were going? Because when we were doing 80. 120, 130? Yeah. I think this is it right here. I can't believe I just got to do that. That was so cool. cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. All right, there you go. Legendary uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I want to thank Danica Patrick for not uh, hitting the wall or anything like <laughs> that. It's my Staying job. Staying steely calm. <laughs> I thought I was going to be nervous. I wasn't. It was awesome. None of those tourists over there care about me. Ha, ha, ha.